The Interpol website has reportedly become the latest target of the so-called hacktivist anonymous group, which advocates Internet freedom. The attack came as Interpol announced it arrested 25 suspected hackers from the movement in Europe and South America. Well, for more on the story, let's now cross live to our correspondent Tessa Arcilia in Brussels. Well, Tessa, it's just the latest in a string of scandals involving anonymous. So what message do you think are they trying to send? Well, that's right. This is just the latest in a lot of stories uh, linked to Anonymous. And the message is clear that they've been repeating in the past that their activities will not stop, even with such reports of arrests. Now, uh, going back to these arrests, Interpol had said that 25 alleged members of the Anonymous uh, online hacking activist group or hacktivist group um, were uh, t taken into their custody right after their own website was attacked. Now, right after the announcement was made, um, their own website again failed failed to load. And act, uh, Anonymous uh, wrote on their Twitter feed uh, not the, the message uh, Interpol down. So there are speculations that this is their response to these uh, reports of arrests. Now this is reminiscent of that widespread angry response from Anonymous hacktivists after the arrest of the uh, founder of the uh, popular mega upload uh, file sharing uh, website. So again we see a repeat of uh, certain activities of an Anonymous in response to police action. And this police action is just the latest in, in a more in a bigger operation, intergovernmental and police operations hoping to crack down on the activities of Anonymous. In recent months, we've seen uh, certain bills, uh, so-called SOPA, PIPA, and ACTA, all arguing in favor of protecting intellectual property rights. However, this has been made a lot of people angry and polarized opinions, saying that passing such bills will actually infringe on freedom of speech as well as the openness of the Internet. These are precise, precisely uh, the issues that Anonymous claims to be fighting for. And the latest uh, big story linked to Anonymous is the recent uh, WikiLeaks uh, publication of about 5 million um, emails from Stratfor, uh, an intelligence firm. Now, it's been uh, speculated that it was with the help of Anonymous that these documents were, uh, in fact, uh, uh, taken into the uh, property of WikiLeaks. Uh, 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 Anonymous had, had been boasting in the past of being able to successfully hack uh, Stratfor network. So again, this is linked to that group. But at the end of the day, such arrests, again, will not stop their activities. They've repeated several times in the past that no arrests uh, can be made on ideas. So we can see definitely a continuation of activities on both sides, on anonymous, uh, continuing hacking uh, websites, uh, fighting for freedom of the Internet, openness of the Internet, as well as the police actions of trying to stop them and crack down on them. All right, Tess, thanks very much indeed for bringing us uh, the latest. It's Tessa Arcelia reporting from Brussels.